Okay, when it comes to travel accessories, I feel like everybody has their list of necessities, whether that be your travel pillow, your travel blanket, your power bank, or three extra sets of headphones just in case they die and there's a screaming baby right behind you on the plane. But to me, there is one travel accessory that I think is the most important and can also make travel the easiest. And that is exactly what we're gonna talk about today. Let's get into it. Okay, now I of course am talking about travel wallets. Now specifically this one from Peak Design, which has quickly become my favorite travel accessory I could bring with me. Now Peak Design is pretty well known for their backpacks and camera gear that they make, but not too long ago, they created what they called their mobile line, which is a line of phone cases, phone wallets, mobile like phone stands, mounts, and a variety of other things to make your life on the move a little bit easier. Now for me, it's no question that this Peak Design wallet has actually become a little bit of a lifesaver. Now I say it's the best for travel, but this thing comes in handy across everything, including your EDC and everyday life, and this is why. Now the first thing is they make this in two different versions. They have what they call the Slim, which does not have the stand here, and then the stand version, which is the one that I personally have and also recommend. The difference is the slim one does not allow you to kind of use it as a phone stand, whereas the stand one magnetically connects to the case, and then you can actually use this to prop it up in any which way you like. And this is where I think the EDC and travel element of this really, really comes in handy. And that's why I think this thing is so versatile, because whether you want to watch in horizontal or vertical, this allows you to prop your phone up as like a mini stand or tripod, which is super useful and extremely beneficial, not to mention the fact that even though they do offer the slimmer version, I have found with just four cards in here, this is still plenty slim enough to fit in your pocket and not feel weird. But that brings us to the second major pro of this, and that is how easy it is to get your cards in and out of here. You have a simple magnetic flap up here at the top, and you just pull that up and it brings out all the cards. Now, like I said, I have found that the sweet spot is about three, maybe four cards. Yes, it can go up to seven, seven or eight, but when you get to that high, it is gonna be a little bit bulgy and a little bit thicker, which is gonna make it a little bit more uncomfortable in your pocket. But being able to easily access all four of your cards and then push them back down and it magnetically closes makes me feel very secure. So being able to carry any of the cards you want, especially for travel, when let's be honest, all you really need is your ID, your credit card, and maybe your debit card, depending on where you're going, this makes that a breeze. But that brings us into point number four, which is how well this stays connected to your phone. I have had the MagSafe wallet from Apple in the past, and not only has it fallen off my phone multiple times, but it fell off my phone when I didn't even realize it, and I ended up losing my credit card and my debit card, which then somebody tried to use at Walmart, and luckily I have a good enough bank to realize that me spending $2,000 at Walmart was a little weird. But when it comes to how well this stays on your phone, I think this does it better than any MagSafe or Magnet wallet that I've ever used, tried, or even seen in the past. Because really, it does not come off. Whether you're trying to put it in your pocket, whether you're just sitting here bouncing it all around, I mean, really, this thing, in order to get it off, you gotta put some serious, like, <laughs> oomph behind it, which is just a testament to how well it pairs with the case and your phone. And that brings us into point number five, which is the phone case itself. Now they make these for both Android and iPhone. And even though I know that iPhone has the ability for MagSafe without the case on them, so this wallet would still stick to it, I will say there is something about this Peak Design case that has really stuck out to me. Now I've been using this for about six months. And one of my favorite things about this case is not only how slim and durable it is, which are two things that I absolutely love because nobody wants a really bulky like OtterBox phone case unless you're 75 years old and have it on your clip like on the side of your belt and you know you're walking through Walmart with your khaki pants and your white shirt tucked in and your Skechers t-shirts and your I'm a dad hat which is totally fine rock that look you do you but for the rest of us that want a slimmer case that's also going to be durable and have some extra ability, this thing has absolutely blown me away. Not to mention one of my favorite things on this is the fact that it's kind of textured, has a little bit of a feel to it, but it also pairs really well if you see this little square in the back with a lot of the other Peak Design mobile accessories. Now I don't have any other than the wallet, the phone case, and then the car mount 
itself, but these also have things like the mini tripods, you have like a mobile creator kit where you can hang around your mint like your neck, it has like a bicycle mount. So it also works in a variety and a versatile amount of ways that also make this phone case more than just a phone case, but it becomes also kind of like a holder and a magnet for some of the other accessories that you might be interested in. Now let's talk about one of the downsides to this wallet. I got the yellow one because I thought it'd be really cool to have like a yellow on gray kind of aesthetic. My partner, however, got an Android phone and they got a gray on gray combo with the case and the wallet. And one thing that I have noticed and probably my least favorite thing is how dirty this wallet has gotten. When I first got this, it was like very yellow, very bright. And yes, I understand that everything is gonna get dirty after repeated usage, but honestly, it's so dirty up close now that it's kind of upsetting. So one of the things that I would definitely recommend is if you were hoping to get a colorful like wallet, maybe just stick with the gray because on my partners, I don't see any kind of dirt and they actually work a job that's like dirtier than mine because I just sit behind a desk all day. They actually like get their hands on stuff that's like kind of can be dirty and everything and their case has been fine. Now, if that doesn't bother you, then I would say it's not that big of a deal, but I will say that this is a little bit of a disappointment to have a yellow wallet and then for it to slowly just kind of get like a little dirty and gross, which again is more of an aesthetic problem than a functionality problem. But I just wanna say that, you know, just keep that in mind. But hey, look, when it comes to travel, I love having this combination because I can be sitting there on my flight watching a movie, I can watch YouTube, when I'm at work, I can have my phone up for my music. It works in so many different ways, but also having that convenience of always having what I need attached to my phone is something that I have actually grown to really like and appreciate, not only just for travel, but also just EDC and everyday life, which is something that you might be interested in. So with all that being said, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know down in the comments below, and I'll do my very best to answer those for you. Thank you guys so very much for all the love and support. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and all of that wonderful nonsense. And with all of that being said, oh yeah, hey, what's up? No, I can talk, I'm not doing anything. Huh, yeah, that's cool.